Residential common system is where you find your home and your family. There are 11 commons, and so the system is basically to where no one commons has a specific type of person. We have people of all different types, all different majors, all different backgrounds. It's a way for people to make friends that are outside of their bubble. It's a bunch of different minds that come together. I'm a business major, but I live next to two engineers. We have film majors. Business students. Football players. People majoring in music or majoring in history. So no matter where you go, there's people thinking differently than you. There are people who do disagree with you, and that is okay. It's actually amazing. I love to have a conversation where someone doesn't think the exact same thing as I do. Everyone has their own piece of the story, and I think diversity plays a really big role in that. By talking to people different than you, that's where I think you find classes that you never really thought you would take or organizations you never thought you would join. And so there's just little things that I would have never imagined myself doing, and the only reason I'm doing it is because of the residential common system. The 11 residential commons each have their own themes and their own traditions and their own faculty and residents. A faculty and residence is exactly what it sounds like. It's an actual faculty member here at SMU who lives in the commons in an apartment. Instead of just focusing on teaching in the classroom, there's something unique about being able to share things outside of the classroom with the students and enrich their experience in different ways. It really serves to give you that one key figure that you can always go back to and ask for advice. These teachers that we have are engaged. They're there to be involved with you as much as they can. Commons Council is really the first opportunity that SMU students have to start taking on leadership roles, and it's right here in their home and in their community. Every Commons has its own Commons Council, but Commons Council basically plans like all different kinds of events. For us in Commons Council, we come together, brainstorm new ideas of how we can improve the Commons for everybody. You know, we've always got stuff going on. This is more than just a place where you live. It's a place where you can really become a part of a community. I feel that the Commons manages to connect everyone a lot more. As with most things in life and in college, you can kind of get out of it what you put into it because you have the chance here to have some place that's a home away from home. Knowing people who live in the same space as you makes you feel so much more okay with being a freshman in college. We really create a community that people want to be a part of because people are excited to live here, to thrive here, and to grow here. You'll make the best relationships. It just feels like we're such a close-knit group and so everyone can be someone and I wouldn't trade that for anything.